Welcome Commanders, this is my video for the request for the best frameshift drive in the galaxy. This wasn't as easy as I thought it would be, it was a little bit involved, but here is a video of my exploits and how I got there. So uh, here I start in Jameson Memorial and Shinraza Desra. So the first thing you need to do is uh, go to the nearest uh, human tech trader. I've used the Nara.cz and found the nearest is in LP847-48. So I will travel there. So off we go. I'm my trusty ass of Explorer. So here I get, I'm at uh, Rosdens, Rosdesvenski Hub. So I'll just dock here. Lake on. Station services are on standby for your arrival, Commander. Good to have you. Okay, Commander, proceed to landing pad 387. So we open up Starport Services, and in Starport Services we go to the Contacts, and then the Technology Broker, Gwyn Blair. So I'm just seeing what requirements are required, and here we go, Engineered FSD V1 Class 5, that's what I'm after. And I need a lot of stuff, data mining, wake exceptions, tellurium, electrochemical arrays and chemical processors. The, uh, probably the hardest thing to get on this list is the tellurium. And luckily in my previous explorations I had uh, mined a lot of tellurium from some uh, from some tellurium spires. Uh, you are clear of the station. Safe travels, Commander. From some tellurium spires, which are quite hard to find in only in a very few rare systems. So here I'm approaching a uh, moon NLTT eight uh, sorry three six six eight nine two CA which is a high source of tellurium, which I found using an R.CZ, which is the nearest planet with a high tellurium content. And this is probably the largest um, roadblock you're going to get to uh, getting tellurium and, and this whole process, because it's quite rare, even on this moon. I believe it's 1.7%. What you need to do is you need to scan the uh, planet, pla scan the moon, and find uh, places which are flat, you're after here are lava spouts or uh, any geological feature basically that has needle crystals in and needle crystals are the things that are tellurium so here we go so that's a lava spout That's the silicate vapor femoral. So I deploy the SRV. Eventually I find one after a few hours looking. They are quite very rare, they're 1.7% on this moon. And there it is, Tellurium. Cargo scoop deployed. Cargo scoop retracted. As you can see, most of the uh, things are not 
needle crystals and pickiest cobbles. Or maybe some other kind of crystals. So how much have I got? Uh, let me just see. And it was... I've got 27 units. I believe I need 26 units for the FSD, but I kept grinding for a little bit more, but didn't find any more. So here I'm at the local space station in this system. And I'm just selling some, uh, some mapping data, which I appear to have. Strangely, it said I had no mapping data, but if I went back again, I did have mapping data, so it's very odd. And that, Incoming message. that actually uh, up my uh, exploration rank to, uh, let me just see, to Pioneer, which is quite good. So here I am back at uh, the uh, the hub where the tech trader is. I can't say the name of it very easily. Roz, Roz Desvedsky Hub. So I'm just uh, double checking what the requirements are again. Landing operation complete. You may disembark when ready. Station facilities are at your disposal, Commander. So you see here I have the tellurium, I still need data mined wake exceptions and wait and the electrochemical and the other one. Uh, this is just a, a pretty looking star that I found on my journeys. Which I crashed into unfortunately. Crazy uh, collision area. Okay, now I'm after the data mined wake exceptions. I'm kind of using the kind of semi-cheat hack, which is to um, go to the this system here, which is HIP 102099, so 12099. So I just scan the system just to find the bodies. What you're looking for is Moon 1A. Was it 2A? I can't remember. Sisters it's Moon down. 1B. Okay. This is the moon you're after. It says other and human on it. And the other is a special place. So, head towards that moon. HIP 120991B. See, I only have 10 data mine wake exceptions. So what we're going to do is going to go here. So scan it first, surface scanner. Surface scanned by 50%. Surface scan complete. And what you need to do is you need to set destination to the Jameson crash site. This is Commander Jameson of the original Elite. And we approach that crash site. There are some spoilers here and I'll leave that for you to discover, but there's some nice log entries, voice log entries you can find. So we'll land on this site and deploy the SRV when we get there. As you can see in the dark, there's uh, Commander Jameson's crashed Sidewinder. 
Or is it a Cobra Mark III? Probably a Cobra Mark III, actually. do is you need to deploy the SRV and scan down the data terminals here. There we are, comms controls. So basically scan these units. What you get are you get logs and you also get adaptive encryptors, which is what you're after. And there's four of these on this site. There's one, two to the side, one next to the ship and one at the other side. There's Cobra Mark III, JJ386. You can only scan the ship once. I've not been here before. So we go around to the other side. There's the other comms control. What you basically do this process just keep scanning them you can only scan them once usually so what you need to do which is kind of the cheat the kind of the cheat and the hack is uh, you need to log out back to the main menu screen and log back in again and basically rinse and repeat until you have filled up your adaptive encryptors so it's quite a boring process but it's easier than actually trying to grind these items by scanning wakes which would take hours and hours, it's uh, just not worth it. Probably the most efficient way is to use the turret to scan them, just stay in one spot and just scan these three. As you see here, I'm filling them up. And uh, after a few times, I've uh, filled up my uh, data hold with these encryptors, so I return back to the ship. going to do is head back to uh, sorry head to a new place which is Ray Gateway in the Dia Guandri system and this is basically a material trader you can find a, a nearer one if you uh, if you happen to be at a different place Is the material trader. Select what you want. In my case, we need data mind, data mind wake exceptions. And select what you want to trade for it. Which is your adaptive encryptors you just uh, mined from the Jameson Memorial site. I mean, basically, you can go back and get more of them if you need to, or just trade something else. So I got those, so now I'm going to return back to Rosvestensky Hub. LP847. Decrease speed, 
to within safe limits, Commander. Solid contact, you may disembark when ready. Station facilities are at your disposal, Commander. And I've now got the data mind awake exceptions of the Tellurium. I just need to grind electrochemical arrays and chemical processors. There's quite a lot of them. Now, the only place you're going to find those is off pirate ships, basically. So you're going to have to do a lot of combat grinding, and this takes hours and hours. So it's uh, quite random. You might get better mileage than me, but basically the whole process of this getting the best FSD took me around uh, 10 to 12 hours. So it's uh, not a simple thing. So out on foot, which I happened to do while I was here. I just have to check in on the... Um, Vista Genomics, Vista, can I help you? Vista Genomics. You wish to contribute to Vista Genomics. Vista strives to learn everything it can about the cosmos. Now, I didn't realise I had so much data on me. Because I sold it and I was quite surprised. One point one billion credits. Crazy. As you can see on here I got some crystalline shards from my crystal spire locations. So you can kind of cheat there if you get systems and you can actually go and mine tellurium quicker. But it's quite far out, it's about uh, two thousand light years out from the bubble. Thank you for your contribution to our research. Welcome to Interastra. Take your time. Wonderful. Let me help you find the ship of your dreams. Take your time. So uh, while I'm at Rosvestensky Hub, I go to my uh, Asp Explorer because uh, I'm currently in it. But sorry, I go and get my um, my uh, what is it? My combat ship, which is my Viper Mark IV, which is cheap. It's a, a basic Viper Mark IV. There's nothing special on it. It's got a very small uh, rebuy con, rebuy amount if I need to buy Thank it again. Thank you for choosing Interastra. So I go to the local system and I go to the nav beacon. And uh, so here it is, very basic ship. It's got a very small buy rebuy cost, 43,000. And basically I combat grind, try and find the uh, items I need. So here's some combat clips. One of the few ships actually gave me the item I wanted.
So basically cargo scoop. Cargo scoop and pick them up. Basically, I fought various ships, all classes. It's relatively safe at the NAV point because the uh, Federal Security Bureau are here to uh, assist you. That and the, uh, the local militia. pick up the escape pods because they're uh, free money. They also uh, make the uh, criminals want to scan you, so might as well pick them up. I'm trying to pick it up, but then the uh, ring men are attacking me.
basically go around and pick them up quite quickly because they do degrade, they disappear. Oops. Quite busy here for just a nav beacon. Two come across this, that's pretty good. Cargo deployed. What I didn't find at any uh, time here was the electrochemical arrays, which uh, I need more of, really. Which is quite disappointing, they're probably rare, but I didn't find any. So I return back to the hub. Touchdown sequence complete. Dispatching ground crew. Station facilities are at your disposal, Commander. I'm just handing my bounties. And as you can see here, I've got most of the things, I just need the electrochemical arrays, which I need a lot of. So I tried going to the local low uh, extraction site resource, resource extraction site. So I come and do some combat grinding in the site. I'm guessing it's luck, or bad luck, because I didn't actually find anything in this place. All I got was a lot of uh, escape pods and um, that was it. I didn't find any materials.
So basically I returned to, to uh, the hub because uh, I didn't get any success. my uh, escape pods, a little bit of money. And I clean my bounties. And I still need the uh, these items. So basically I went to the local local material trader because it was just taking too long to try and grind for the items so i used an r.cz and found the latest uh, the nearest place is rowley port in lhs 277 Serial trader, and I want electrochemical arrays, and for that I gave a lot of stuff. Be very careful on this menu. I've made a mistake before. Will I've um, clicked the items I wanted to trade, and then the other items, and then I ended up buying the uh, items I didn't want. So uh, be very careful on this menu. Pick what you want first and then what you want to trade for it. It's not clear and there's uh, no way of undoing what your mistakes are. This is probably quite a rare material I'm giving here, but they are worth a lot. So, go back to the hub. Securing ship. Station facilities are at your disposal, Commander. So I should be there, I should have all the items now. So then what I need to do is swap back to my explorer. Here we go. This is the uh, fruits of my labour. So go back to the uh, human tech trader, technology broker. And off we go and unlock the core module with all that stuff, all of that hard work. Now forever more I have this access to this FSD, which is uh, amazing. It's the best one in the game. So we go and outfit my ship. Go to core internal and select the FSD, which is the engineered one. Replace my currently 5A Max engineered one with this one because this one gives me a, a set of almost eight light year improvement. And there we go, 48 almost.
as you can see here, unladen, almost 48 light years on my Asp Explorer, which is pretty good. It's a, an 8 light year improvement of my other one. So now I set course to Desiat, go and see Felicity Fars here to engineer my already max FSC. So we're nearing the end of my epic quest. Qu epic quest for the best frameshift drive in the galaxy. Currently. Basically what we're going to do, because it's already engineered, is we're just going to add the modifier, which is a mass manager. Engineers Workshop. Select the FSD. Options Restricted, because it's already engineered. So you can't select the increased FSD range, it already has Class 5. An experimental effect and we want mass manager. And there we have it. We've got the best FSD in the galaxy. And that'll apply to other class ships as well, but this I'm just using my Asp Explorer. There you go, 49, almost 50 light years. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, there are other more uh, easier to follow tutorial videos, but uh, this one shows my uh, quest to get my uh, my item. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the black, Commanders. 07. <laughs>